Welcome to Chapter 6, Reproduction at the Cellular Level. This chapter includes four sections covering the genome, the cell cycle, cancer and the cell cycle, and prokaryotic cell division. Now when I say cover, I mean briefly introduce. Introduction. The individual sexually reproducing organism, including humans, begins life as a fertilized egg or zygote. Trillions of cell divisions subsequently occur in a controlled manner to produce a complex multicellular human. In other words, that original single cell was the ancestor of every other cell in the body. Once a human individual is fully grown, cell reproduction is still necessary to repair or regenerate tissue. For example, new blood and skin cells are constantly being produced. All multicellular organisms use cell division for growth and in most cases, the maintenance and repair of cells and tissues. Single-celled organisms use cell division as their method of reproduction. In section 1. The genome. By the end of this section, you will be able to describe the prokaryotic and eukaryotic genome, distinguish between chromosomes, genes, and traits. The continuity of life from one cell to another has its foundation in the reproduction of cells by way of the cell cycle. The cell cycle is an orderly sequence of events in the life of a cell from the division of a single parent cell to produce two new daughter cells to the subsequent division of those daughter cells. The mechanisms involved in the cell cycle are highly conserved across eukaryotes. Organisms as diverse as protists, plants, and animals employ similar steps. Genomic DNA. Before discussing the steps a cell undertakes to replicate, a deeper understanding of the structure and function of a cell's genetic information is necessary. A cell's complete complement of DNA is called its genome. In prokaryotes, the genome is composed of a single double-stranded DNA molecule in the form of a loop or circle. The region in the cell containing this genetic material is called a nucleoid. Some prokaryotes also have smaller loops of DNA called plasmids that are not essential for normal growth. Now, that is, they mostly have a single circular chromosome. Uh, some bacteria do have more than one chromosome, and they can be linear, but largely they tend to have one, and it tends to be circular. In eukaryotes, the genome comprises several double-stranded linear DNA molecules bound with proteins to form complexes called chromosomes. Each species of eukaryote has a characteristic number of chromosomes in the nuclei of its cells. Human body cells, body cells are also known as somatic cells or non-sex cells, have 46 chromosomes. A somatic cell contains two matched sets of chromosomes, a configuration known as diploid. The letter N is used to represent a single set of chromosomes, therefore a diploid organism is designated 2N. Human cells that contain one set of 23 chromosomes are called gametes, or sex cells. These egg and sperm are designated N, or haploid. The matched pairs of chromosomes in a diploid organism are called homologous chromosomes. Homologous chromosomes are the same length and have specific nucleotide segments called genes in exactly the same location or locus. Genes, the functional units of chromosomes, determine specific characteristics by coding for specific proteins. Genes can also code for RNAs that have enzymatic functionality, such as in ribosomes. Traits are the different forms of a characteristic. For example, the shape of earlobes is a characteristic with traits of free or attached. Each copy of the homologous pair of chromosomes originates from a different parent. Therefore, the copies of each of the genes themselves may not be identical. 
The variation of individuals within a species is caused by the specific combination of genes inherited from both parents. For example, there are three possible gene sequences on the human chromosome that codes for blood type. Sequence A, sequence B, and sequence O. Because all diploid human cells have two copies of the chromosome that determines blood type, the blood type, the trait, is determined by which two versions of the marker gene are inherited. It is possible to have two copies of the same gene sequence, one on each homologous chromosome, for example AABB or OO, or two different sequences such as AB. Now different versions of the same gene on homologous chromosomes are also referred to as alleles, as indicated in this figure. These two parents are what is called heterozygous for different blood types, so AO and BO. Now with blood types specifically, the O is recessive, meaning that whatever the other allele is, that is the blood type that the offspring will have. So the two parents are heterozygous for A and B combined with O. And this shows what possible combinations could result. This type of thing will come up in more detail in the next chapter. Now the differences here in uh, these other terms, uh, recessive, dominance, codominance, and uh, more detail with alleles will also come up in a future chapter or so. Now this brings us to the end of section one. Join me next time for section two, the cell cycle.